Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome, check it out. RVR TV is going off-road. Yay! <laughs> so what do you think? Instead of driving just through Tyson Wash, let's drive up Tyson Wash. Let's go check out the desert, like, right now. We go. We are going to explore the desert all winter long. I'll still do my on-road stuff, but this is the new feature for RVR TV this year. We're off-roading. You guys are going to see stuff that you've never seen before. Or me. Never been back here. I've never had a four-week... Whoa, look out. Hey, hang on. <laughs> this is a uh, Kawasaki Mule Pro. It's used. It's a newer used one. It was a demo model at a dealer. Picked it up. It's a 2018. Boy, this gravel. Look at this. This is where all the water floods. This is a raging river when uh, heavy rains hit right here. Water comes roaring through here. Anywho, this is our new rig. We're going to explore this year. Should be a lot of fun. I really hope it is. And also give everyone a new perspective on this area. Boy, look how thick the rock, uh, gravel is through here. You know there's gold, but it's full of junk, too. Not good metal detected. So, anyway, there's a mine back here. There's Q Mountain right off to the right. We're going to go actually on the back side of Q Mountain. There's a mine. I want to fly the drone around. It's way too windy. Today is Friday, October 11th. Way too windy to head down to... Uh, Yuma. We're going to Yuma on Monday. I switched everything around. So, we're going to go play in the desert this weekend. <laughs> so, next couple vi videos we're going to be out here. I'm not going to go very far. I'm kind of getting used to this thing too. You can see my driving. There's a big old rock sticking up. Anyway, this thing's got four-wheel drive. Horn, it's street legal. Got it licensed for both off road and on road. So we can take it anywhere we want. Well, how cool was that? Drove right through the wash. Now we're out of the wash. See, straight ahead, there's that mine. Old abandoned mine. Yeah, I've seen it from a distance, but I never got up close. You got to hike back here or four wheel. Guess what? We could four wheel. Yay. Well, let me get parked. We'll launch a drone, check it out from the air, and see what else we can get into here. Up we go. I don't know the name of this mine, but look at all the trails. There are just four-wheel trails everywhere. Look how pretty the colors are in the desert right now. It's about 9 a.m. A little after 9, Friday, October 11th. Old abandoned mine. It's all sealed up. All the shafts. And there's Q Mountain, the backside. See the flag up top? The Q's on the other side. There's the community of Q Mountain. Trails all around the mountain here. There's Tyson Wash. We just drove through there. And straight on out, that's uh, La Posa West. LTVA. That's looking off down towards uh, south. 
down towards Yuma. And these are the trails we're going to take. I think we'll cut over to Rainbow Acres and then drive back. All right, well, I'll get landed. I'll fly the drone close to the buggy so you can see it good. Okay, let me get landed. Okay, well, let's go get lost, huh? <laughs> we'll go on the backside of Q Mountain. I've never been back here. Because, well, in the van or my other vehicles, it would tear them up. There's that mine. Look all the spoil piles. A lot of gold came out of these hills for the last, what, 150 plus years. Mine shafts everywhere. I know there's a bunch of them out there in the desert too. We'll see some probably on our way out towards Rainbow Acres. There should be some like little stone cabin things out here too. I'll get more detailed on this stuff. Ooh, a little rocky here. This little buggy will go right through it. I'm calling it buggy for now. I, we gotta come up with a name. Think of a name for this thing. Put it in the comments. See all those uh, gas markers? They ran a huge uh, gas line to here. It goes all the way across the desert, clear across uh, Mojave. Okay, we'll make a left up here. When you look on uh, Google Maps and whatnot, there's another map called. Uh, we are here, I think, and all these trails are marked by BLM. You see BLM markers. Once again, once I get into this, uh, I'll get a lot more detail. And we are flying a drone out here. We're going to wear that thing out. Today is pretty windy. I'll try to fly it as much as I can. Matter of fact, this is going to be a long video. We'll go up a ways, and then tomorrow's video will be the rest of the trip. So, I'll split this in half. Look how smooth this Kawasaki, I mean, it's got the, the Pro model has the heavy duty suspension. This thing rides smoother than my van. It's got power steering. It's got an 820 cc engine in it, real powerful. Uh oh, look at this. Right on through it. I know everyone's saying go faster, no way. <laughs> Slow and steady. We're heading to the south. I got my compass out on the phone. Kind of checking here, see which way I want to go. Oh, look. Check it out. There's one of them uh, old abandoned stone cabins right up here. We got to stop. Check that out. Cool. But we want to keep heading south and uh, Rainbow Acres, it's, I guess, this direction. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll find out. These trails really zigzag through here. Well, let's stop. Check this thing out a second. I'll give you a better look at the four-wheeler, too. All right, there's another one of these. Look at that graffiti. It ticks me off. There's another one of these over on Chola Road. They're old mining cabins from way back. There it is. There's the buggy. I mean, it's not one of them fancy racer ones. My God, they want as much of for a car as you get one of them for. Those Can-Am ones are like 40,000 bucks. Forget that. Anyway, this is like a sport utility. It'll work. I can haul my camera gear. Look at that. Tyson Wells, RV or TV. Got decals, quartzite TV one. Put a big one up on the hood. Got it all decaled up. Up top, I got LED lights already. Two small ones to put up there. I got turn signals to put on it. And a new set of mirrors. Inside, I got an ice chest with water and all my camera gear down that tub. So I'm pretty well set. There's the rear view mirror. But I want to get two external ones too. I just ordered them. Okay, way off there. I don't know if you can see it. The trailers out there were kind of right there. There. That's the backside of Tyson Wash LTVA. Isn't this cool? I've never done this. Never been out here. We'll explore a lot this winter. All right, let's go find Rainbow Acres. Okay, this thing holds 10 gallons of fuel. I filled it up, so we should be good. I think I'll get an extra fuel, just like a two gallon can to haul in this thing too. Alrighty, well, <laughs> I think we're on the right way. I think I might launch a drone. When in doubt, launch your drone, figure out where you're at. <laughs> Let me pull down bottom of this hill and we'll launch. We go. There's the wash. Yay, there's Rainbow Acres. Almost there. Cool. Look at the mountains behind it, too. Look at this. This is just gorgeous out here. My goodness. Look at the colors. We'll come back over that direction. We'll make a big loop. And there's the way we just came through. There's Tyson Wash. Alrighty. Let me get landed here. Did you see that cactus? Let me fly over that cactus a second. Yep. 
It was a pretty big one. Looks a little beat up. Look at that thing. Look at all the arms on it. That's an oldie. That's been there for a long, long time. Okay, when we get landed, we'll keep on trucking. There it is, there's Rainbow Acres. I just did a video about the whole community out there a few days ago. Well, we did it. I'll get better at this and I will also figure out the trail markings. Just gotta give me a little time. I gotta get used to driving this thing too. Make sure I got all the gear with me. We're getting close because I know there's GPS apps that will track me with the phone, all kinds of stuff. We'll really get into it. Alrighty, here's Rainbow Acres. I'm gonna stop up here, take a break, and continue the video. So tomorrow's video will be we'll head back to Quartzite through the desert. Yay! All right, talk soon.